Welcome to Anime Love, a channel where all we do is give you anime suggestions and recommendations, top 5, 10, and even 20 lists, character analysis, and even some anime theories, and a lot more. My name's David, and I'll be your guide. And before we start with today's video, I'll kindly ask you to, only if you like it of course, give this video a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. Let's roll the intro and start with today's video. Are you tired of watching anime shows which are only 20 minutes long each episode? Well, why not watch an anime movie? Today I'll bring you a list of anime movies which you should definitely watch once in your lifetime. Coming in at number 10, Paprika. So first in our list is Paprika. This movie is really confusing and you might not understand what's happening, but it's still a great watch. You just might go mad trying to understand it. In Paprika, there exists an illegal technology which allows a user to view and interact with a person's dreams. And with any morally questionable scientific revolution, things go wrong. It's almost impossible to discuss Paprika without spoilers, but I'll just say that it features some incredible trippy visuals, shocking twists, emotional whiplash, and more than one instance of straight up face melting. Paprika shows how anime can bend the rules of animation or just outright break it. At number nine, Perfect Blue. Are? Now? 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 <laughs> After working as an animator on other films, Satoshi Khan made his explosive directorial debut with Perfect Blue. It's about a J-pop idol who leaves behind a music career to pursue acting. And the further she dives into the role, the more reality and fiction begin to blur together. Khan, who would go on to direct Paprika from earlier on our list, has a signature style that seems to spring forth fully realized from the first frame. And his unique take on magical realism ensures you never see the seams until he wants you to. Khan's career was cut short due to pancreatic cancer, but Perfect Blue remains a standout and its influence can be seen everywhere, including Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan and Christopher Nolan's Inception. On to number eight, Princess Mononoke. One of Studio Ghibli's and director Hayao Miyazaki's most critically acclaimed movies, Princess Mononoke is a gorgeous film set in a feudal era Japan that weaves together multiple points of view showcasing man versus nature, man versus man, man versus himself, and man versus tentacle boar demon spirit. In his quest to find a cure for his curse, Prince Ashitaka finds himself caught up in a war between the god of forest and humans. Along his travels, he meets a young woman named San, who was raised by wolves and seems to be more of a wild animal than a human being. Together, they'll fight to protect the god of the forest from the corruption brought by man and their hunger for power. While Princess Mononoke is pretty graphic and targets a more mature audience, it's definitely a must-see. Coming in at number 7, Your Name. Released in 2016 and directed by Makoto Shinkai, your Name tells the story of a boy from Tokyo named Taki and a girl named Mitsuha from a small town who suddenly and inexplicably start swapping bodies. Makoto Shinkai has been described by multiple critics as the next Hayao Miyazaki. With his most recent film Your Name, yes, the period is part of the title, Shinkai finally steps out of the shadows and finds his own voice. 
To describe it as a mere body-swapping film does it a great disservice, as it finds the humor and humanity in a situation where two young high schoolers find themselves in each other's shoes. But then, Shinkai pulls the rug out from under you halfway through and your name turns into a different kind of film entirely. That it doesn't lose its footing or confidence and instead discovers continued meaning and purpose shows that Shinkai is a directorial force to be reckoned with. Taking a look at number 6, Weathering With You. Set in Japan during a period of exceptionally rainy weather, the film tells the story of a high school boy who runs away from his rural home in Tokyo and befriends an orphan girl who has the ability to manipulate the weather. The film was produced by Wakano Okamura and Kinyu Ito, and the music was composed by Rad Wimps. This movie does blend well with Your Name, as it takes place in the same universe as Your Name. Time to check out number 5. I want to eat your pancreas. I want to get something out of the way. I Want to Eat Your Pancreas is not a zombie film, but it doesn't really sound like a romantic drama either. An unarmed boy being bothered by a girl in their high school library. She's fascinated by a supposed Japanese custom of eating a body part from a loved one to cure a disease affecting the same body part. I Want to Eat Your Pancreas may look like a traditional romantic drama about a dying character, but it's a heartfelt celebration of life and friendships with a tight script and round characters. It is honestly amazing that this film works as well as it does, and that it still manages to surprise you with a few twists and turns that will have theatrical audiences crying in their seats. On to number 4, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Hayao Miyazaki, co-founder of Studio Ghibli, is perhaps second only to Walt Disney in terms of cultural relevance and worldwide recognition in animation, and Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind is where he made himself known. Nausicaa's story follows the eponymous young woman as she navigates a post-apocalyptic future where venturing outside small population centers means having to contend with giant insects and a deadly miasma. Here, you'll see many of what would become Ghibli's trademark themes on full display. Humanity, community, morality, and environmentalism coverage. Accompanied by a lush, hand-drawn animation and swashbuckling action. You won't find this movie on any streaming service, but it really deserves a permanent spot in your home anyway. On to the top three at number three, Silent Voice. A Silent Voice was produced by Kyoto Animation as the anime movie adaptation of the seven-volume manga published in 2013 and 2014. The moving anime has sensitive social themes such as teens bullying, suicide, disability, parental divorce, and so on. This anime movie focuses on two main characters, a deaf girl, Shoko Nishimiya, and Shoyo Ishida, who bullied her in elementary school. It took the world by storm and made itself a place among the best-rated and most well-loved anime movies of all time. Despite its bright and colorful design, A Silent Voice tells a deep, emotional, and powerful story that takes the viewer through a roller coaster of emotions. In at number 2, Spirited Away. Spirited Away is Miyazaki, and by extension Studio Ghibli, at the height of his craft, using advancements in animation technology to enhance 
but not to overpower an Alice in Wonderland-esque story filled to the brim with strange creatures and imaginative scenarios. It's a coming-of-age story about a young girl who finds herself lost in a bathhouse for the spirits, interacting with an assortment of fantastical creatures as she attempts to rescue her parents. Miyazaki still explores his go-to themes of humanity, nature, technology, and morality, playing them up as a natural progression of the excellent, memorable story. Few movies of any medium carry their weight as well as Spirited Away. And on to number one, Akira. Finally, we come to what we consider to be the best anime movie ever. Akira is a powerhouse of a film. Every frame of animation exploding off the screen with kinetic energy and effortless style. And pretty much the starting point for anime's popularity in the West. It's based off the first half of Otomo's massive graphic novel series of the same name. The second half was created after the film was completed, explaining the wild divergence in the plot lines. Following a group of delinquent teenagers in Neo-Tokyo decades after the end of World War III, one of these boys, named Tetsuo, is abducted by a secretive government unit and experimented on, awakening his latent psychic abilities, which quickly spiral out of control. What follows is a strange, gut-wrenching landmark of science fiction, filled with rad bikes and an absurd amount of destruction. Its lavish animation is unrivaled even now, and its tale of militaristic overreach and the hubris of unchecked technological progress remains oddly prescient. All right, guys, that's all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, you already know what to do. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.